some scattered clouds around the Sierra. The worst of the fog currently resides over Fairfield. You just saw that sky cam there down Interstate 80. You're going to notice some stretches there of I-80 drop off to a quarter of a mile or less visibility. Then also seeing some thicker fog from Sacramento points north up and through Yuba City and even parts of Butte County seeing some drops in visibility. Half mile visibility from Stockton off towards Modesto, Modesto and you can really see it's kind of the western side of the valley floor seeing the most extent there of the thicker fog. You're also noticing that those clouds are gathered around Truckee and Tahoe and that's helping to uh, bump up temperatures for a few spots. It's five degrees up this morning as you're starting that day in Placerville and running about three degrees up in areas like Sacramento. So the clouds will continue kind of working through the area today, all associated with our next weather system that will be moving through as we go into the overnight tonight and leading to a very wet start to your Tuesday. So big things to highlight and stress getting into the daytime on Tuesday. First things first, 8 o'clock tonight, starting to see most of the rainfall here along and kind of west of the I-5 corridor, if you will. That's where those things, uh, the rain will get a little bit heavier for spots like around Lake County, down and through Sonoma County, and then eventually that pace will pick up while most of you are sleeping, and that's going to lead to some probably roadway ponding outside, a potential for likely some standing water in areas down I-5 and 99 as those bands continue to pump through the area. And you can see there's shades of yellow there over Stockton in Modesto at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, indicating more moderate to heavy rainfall. Same story around Colfax up and through Auburn and also down the Highway 50 corridor. That rain, once it starts up, it really just keeps on coming throughout the morning, along with some strong, potentially damaging gusty winds. Once we get to the 2 o'clock hour for Tuesday, still coming down pretty nicely and steadily across the foothills at that point, while the valley is catching a couple of rain breaks and potential for just a few scattered showers at that point but the wind is going to be around as this system kicks through the area. So by tonight, notice it gets breezy from Chico off towards Marysville uh, down into Woodland, and then watch as that system continues to work its way through. By tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., you have winds out of the south, 10 to 20 there in Stockton and Modesto, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds expected in Fairfield, and 25 and up potentially across the northern and the uh, western side of the Sacramento Valley region. So for tomorrow, it is an alert day because of the heavy rain potential and those gusty winds. Creeks and streams could rise rapidly under those conditions and potential for again some roadway flooding. So again, cannot stress that tomorrow is a day uh, that if you don't really have to do things first thing in the morning, kind of wait and table them until the afternoon when